all right what is going on guys i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media back with another dokkan battle video and today we are going to be showcasing the newly extremely awakened agl rose at rainbow status here on of course the global side of the game since he is a global first extremely awakening at least for the next 11 days all right so <laughs> Real quick, before we jump into it, I want to go over all his new EZA details for anybody that missed my last video. So if you guys already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead maybe like 40 seconds to a minute and we'll get into the gameplay. Okay, so his new leader skill is Extreme Class Key plus 4, HP, Attack and Defense plus 80%. His new super attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense for the enemy. And his passive is attack plus 100% plus extreme class key plus 3, attack plus 30% at the start of turn, and defense plus 30% with each attack received, up to 180%. So this dude literally went from one of the squishiest units in the game to one of the more tanky. I don't want to say most tanky, but he is significantly more tanky than he used to be all right so let's start off here with him in the first slot i'll just give him like one orb doesn't really matter and uh, he's also actually getting additional defense from the tech merch the masu as well as the topo so he's starting off with seventy four thousand defense which is pretty decent it's not bad but it's definitely gonna go way way higher than that as we go through this event so uh, pay attention to that, alright? Pay attention. So we only took 22 damage and we're starting off with a 2 point, almost 2.7 mil super. Damn. Okay, so I actually didn't expect his damage to be quite that high. I mean, it's not like super high, but like considering, you know, when I first saw him on paper, I was like, he's definitely more geared towards defense, right? So his like standout point, you know, the... The part that's really gonna impress you is his his defense, his tanking ability, but that damage is actually not bad, man. So he did what 2.7 there. And the merge Zamasu, who is supposed to be like the you know super offensive unit, you know, supposed to be, is 3.3. So it's actually not that big of a difference. Obviously, merge Zamasu gets harder. But not that much harder and rose is a much better defensive unit right a much better tank so um wow okay i'm actually really impressed i'm actually really impressed by that damage we haven't seen his like full tanking capabilities yet because he, he needs to take six attacks to get that full defensive buff but um i mean the two attacks we took there were only double digits which was to be expected but the real test will come when we get to like the Super Saiyan God Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and maybe UI Goku if we make it there. Uh, we'll see how the timing works out, but you know, so far so good on all fronts, man. Uh, damage, um, defense, so far so good. All right, so defense now is up to 97k, and the damage should be exactly the same. So I'm gonna actually link him up with the Int Goku Black because eventually I want the double Rose rotation. So we're gonna leave it like that. And hopefully we actually take a super here. So we can, okay, no super there. Double digit still. And we're probably gonna kill him here actually. So now we're at 2.3 mil because obviously we lost the topo support. But yeah, we're still doing really good damage. Like that is quite, I'm not gonna say insane, right? It's not insane damage. He doesn't hit as hard as some of the other easy A's we've seen recently. Like he doesn't hit as hard as SSBKK. Um, he definitely, as far as like total damage output, does not hit as hard as Fizz Vegito Blue. It's not even close. But, I mean, it's it's still like good numbers. Um, in this video, he's most likely going to get over 3 million if we get uh, Big Bad Bosses active and also have the Topo as support. Um, I think, you know, yeah, 3 million is definitely achievable. And if you have him with like... A 40% or 50% support with big bad bosses you might get him close to like 3.5 maybe even I think reaching 4 mil might be tough I think reaching 4 mil might be tough but like getting a unit to like 3 3.5 is nothing to scoff at for sure so considering yeah like I said how good he is on defense and now seeing that he's also able 
to achieve these kinds of numbers offensively. Uh, he's amazing, man. He's actually impressing me more than I was expecting to be impressed by. Wait, did that sentence make sense? I don't think that was proper English. You guys get the point, man. I am very impressed so far. Very, very impressed so far. Okay, so we're take we're we're getting seventy six thousand defense here, because I believe we did lose the, uh, yeah, Merz Zamasu fifty percent defense, right? So we don't have that extra fifty percent, but we are gonna super first before we take any attacks. And like I said, he does greatly raise defense, which is a fifty percent boost. So even if we don't. Um, you know, take any additional attacks before we get attacked here. I think we should still be okay from a tanking standpoint. And we're taking three additional attacks this turn. So we're going to be building, yeah, a lot more defense. Here we go. Here we go. Double digits. Double digits. And I think that's the fourth attack now. So we need two more attacks to get his full defense. And then he's going to have 180% defense. And then if you combine that with the greatly raising defense on super... Um, yeah, he's a tanky boy. He is a tanky boy. He went from, as I said in the beginning of this video, went from one of the squishiest units, like literally taking just ridiculous damage even on normal attacks and definitely cannot take a super. I mean, to be fair, before the EZ8, he had no defense, I think. I think his old passive was attack plus 100% and key plus 3 for extreme class allies. And I think that's literally it. I think that's literally it. So yeah, no defense whatsoever on his passive, which explains why he was so squishy. But he went from that to like an actual tank, a reliable tank, which is kind of funny. Um, I, I'm not like super surprised that they went in this direction, obviously, because they didn't, I, I know they didn't want him to be like a crazy hard hitter because they do want people to still be, you know, excited to summon for the Int LR Rosé, which is coming in, you know, like a month and a half on Global, right? For the part two, or not really a month and a half, like closer to two months probably, but for part two of the uh, five-year anniversary. So obviously they wanted to still keep the crazy damage to that guy. But that being said, that being said, his damage is still great. <laughs> And that's one point, honestly, that I did not expect as much. Like, I knew this dude is going to be a good defensive unit. He's up to 136,000 defense here. Like, I knew his defense was going to impress regardless. But the damage was something that I didn't really see coming. And I know there's going to be people in the, in the comments that are going to be like, Yo, Tiger, why are you freaking out over, like, 2.5 mil or whatever, right? I mean, this might hurt a little bit. Yeah, that one hurt because we didn't get the super first. But, uh... <laughs> We made up for it in the damn 3.5 mil almost there, man. Almost 3.5 mil there. And then, of course, we take 98 damage for the normal attack. So, yeah, I, I don't think we're going to be taking really much damage at all for normal attacks up until probably MUI. Like, MUI might hurt us a little bit with his normals. But besides that, everybody else is going to be mostly doing double digits to us on normals. Supers could still hurt a bit, especially if we don't get to super first. Like, Rosé doesn't super first, he doesn't raise his defense first. But yeah, he might still take a good amount of damage. But, uh, yeah, normal attacks are going to be just fine. He's going to be laughing at those. And uh, <laughs> this dude's good. This dude's good. But going back to what I was saying, yeah, about the Intel or Rosé, I knew they weren't going to make him, like, a defense or offensive juggernaut because it just doesn't make sense for keeping people hyped for the Intel or Rosés crazy damage output so when it comes to damage there's no contest int lr rose way better than this guy but this dude definitely i think is a better tank now i haven't been able to compare a rainbowed int lr rose to this dude at rainbow status obviously but um i'm pretty sure this dude is a better tank than the int lr rose so if you're talking about events like this like the legendary goku event where you're trying to um, obviously take as little damage as possible. You gotta be able to tank like some really, really hard hitting units, some really hard hitting supers. I think this dude, like the AGL Rose, is actually a better option. I think he might actually be a better option. Some people might call me crazy, call me crazy if you want, but I think in most cases, if you're running like this event or 
super bad road. I mean, a super bad road, it might take him a little bit, you know, he might be, it might be kind of dangerous in the beginning because obviously he has no defense to start. But, um, you know, like, look at that. He just took 52 damage. This, this is going to hurt, though. Yeah, 217k. Yeah, that, that hurt a little bit. Um, I mean, it, it's a type disadvantage super from uh, God Koo, so you, you can't be that surprised, right? But yeah, normal attacks, single digits, double digits still. We just took a normal for 11 damage there, guys. Or no, 9 damage. I think I think AGL Rose actually took a super for, or for a normal attack for 9 damage. I'm getting a little bit confused right now. My mind's all over the place. Don't mind me. All right, don't mind me, but... Uh, I'm just trying to say, like, it's 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 kind of crazy. It's really kind of crazy. I did not see this coming, man. So I'm gonna just use a Ghost Hatcher here because I don't really want to risk it. Um, none of these guys are, like, very good tanks. Well, let's just do that. Let's heal up a little bit here with the Senzu Bean as well just to get a few more turns out of this team. Um, definitely wouldn't be bringing the Texamasu under normal circumstances. I just wanted to see, like... How high his, his defense could get with the uh, Merge of Masu's extra 50% uh, defense, right? So that's why he's here. But normally, yeah, I wouldn't recommend bringing Merge the Masu under any circumstances unless you have no options. All right, because that dude is just not good on defense. But anyways, um, there was some other stuff I wanted to talk about that I just kind of like slipped my mind now. But it'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. Um, overall, so far, it's been really good. I want to definitely hear, hear your opinions, guys. Like, what you guys think about the AGL Rose EZA. Do you guys think that they could have done more with him? They could have given him more attack? They could have uh, maybe made him a better support unit? I mean, I, I think, like, I'm satisfied with everything, man. Like, I wouldn't call him, like, a busted unit. I don't think I've used that word in this in this video yet, right? I don't think I said busted. Yeah, I never said busted, so I don't think he's busted, but I think he's really, really good. Like, really, really impressive. And um, they, they did a great, great great job with this guy. Like, I, I'm glad that they were actually okay with not going just all out, you know, offense. Like, they tend to do a lot of times uh, with easy A's. Like, a lot of easy A's, oh crap. Oh, damn it. I didn't realize we had a token attack coming. Yeah, I thought it was, uh, oh, and we're taking crazy damage for the supers, too, or even for the normal attacks, too. Okay, so this is, this is, I kind of messed up this turn. That's my bad, guys. So, uh, I, I, I kind of, I, I wanted to put Rose, like the AJ Rose in the middle because I wanted him to take all those attacks in the middle and just show us, like, how good he is on defense. But then I didn't realize that the int Rose actually hadn't built up. A lot of defense yet so that almost got us killed but we're still alive we're still alive yeah close to three mil here like i said his damage is actually pretty comparable to the tech mercy masu not as um you know hard of a hitter he doesn't do as much damage as the tech mercy masu but it's close enough where you're like damn this dude actually does a lot of damage and then all those normals we just took there for double digits Double digits, man. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, let's finish this off. Um, I think I'm gonna put merge the Masu there, and this should take him out. And then we're gonna go over to the UI, and uh, you know, once we do a couple turns, or maybe just like one or two turns of the UI, I, I think that's gonna be it. I think I think we would have seen enough. And honestly, I think we wouldn't. I mean, we probably could clear clear this event here with this team, but like it'd be kind of tough, and I don't think it's necessary, honestly. So, yeah, we'll do like one or two turns of the UI, see how much damage we take, especially from that super with the type advantage, obviously. So, you know, we should be able to tank those attacks pretty decently, but we'll find out in just a second. Yeah, this should take care of the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku here, and let's move on. Let's move on. So far, so good. With the exception of that little minor slip up with the int rose, so we're definitely gonna let him super at least one more time before we let him tank anything. Uh, so yeah, let's throw AGL rose over here. We have 153,000 defense here. 
no big bad boss is active, unfortunately, so uh, we are losing, you know, or not losing rather, but rather just like not getting a, a, quite a bit more attack and defense. Um, but yeah, let's see. Type advantage, 150k defense. Um, we are going to be greatly raising defense, obviously, once we super. So let's see it. Okay, so 19 damage there. Up to 2.9 mil with the super once again, over 3.3 mil, I think. If we had big bad bosses. An additional. And we're getting supered here. 55k. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the monster, man. <laughs> He's a monster. That this 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 guy is really good. This guy is really, really good. Is he as good of a tank as Tech, Golden, Frieza? No, right? It, it's not the same thing. Um, but the combination of his support and uh, and damage and tanking, I think, just makes him so damn good. He's such a good easy A. Um, I'm okay with this. I, I saw a few people in the comments out there complaining that you know he doesn't do as much damage or he, he they, they just expected him to like get more something you know with his easy a like especially considering how you know all out they went with uh fizz Vegito blue they were expecting something on that level and i'm just like there was no way there was no way this guy was gonna be on or anywhere close to the level of fizz Vegito blue actually you know that's that's not fair i'm, I'm gonna say he's not close or anything like that like He's just not as good. He's just not as good. Like Fizz Vegito Blue is another level, but um, he's he's still amazing. <laughs> he's still amazing. Like don't don't sell AGL Rose's Easy A short. Um, they did a great job with him. They really did. So this is probably gonna be the last turn, I think. Uh, only one hundred thirteen thousand defense here. Some for some reason we're still above. We're, we're, we're like at like 96% HP, which is crazy to me. At 96% HP. Anyways, let's see what happens here. We got a bunch of attacks in the beginning. Just a ton of attacks. And uh, now we're taking, yeah, 3.2k, 2.9. Okay, 3. you know, taking a little bit more damage. That's okay, though. That's okay, though. Once we super, hopefully this one is a super up, coming up. Because... I, I, I want to see. Okay, 46 after the super. So, I think that's going to be it, guys. I think that's the video. There's no point in going any further. Uh, we most likely will get wrecked on the MUI stage. I'm going to just be honest with you. And I think we've seen enough. So, that is today's showcase, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do. This is actually going to wreck us. Ooh, yeah, man, I wish I finished talking before that happened because I could have just gone out on a win or at least not an L. But now we have to go out on an L. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is, man. Sometimes things just don't work out the way you want them to. But anyways, guys, that is today's video. That is the showcase of AGL Rosé's Easy A. I'm very happy with it, man. As I said in my pre previous video, I, I think they did enough with him. Um, I think that they did him justice, you know, justice was served, and we got another amazing easy on our hands. But once again, I want to hear your opinions. I want to hear what you guys think. So let me know in the comments down below how you feel, man, about AGL Rose's easy A. Do you think it's enough? Do you think it could have been more? Do you think it's awesome like I do? Or any other opinions in between you guys might have? Yo, let me know in the comments down below. But that's it, guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.